Okay guys, so here go the seven piece PDP course Evans drum heads. Alright, so when I'm setting up my drums, I like to start with my 12, okay? I'm gonna move that a little bit. I like to start with my 12, 12 rack tom, because for me that that set the foundation. Um just for me is that's that's how I get comfortable because um, I can make sure the the bottle's not touching the um, bass drum. Uh, we get the the the, the, the perfect um, height. Now after I do my 12, I go to my my 10 inch rack tom, and I basically basically I, I try to match um, the toms about the same. Um, then after that, I go over to my 8 inch tom, and it's important. For me to have my eight inch tom a little bit higher than my ten inch tom, I'm gonna tell you why because it just it just it just don't feel right. It don't sit right with me. Well, well really, while I'm, while I'm playing, it's just uh, 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 it's just more comfortable when I have the eight inch a little bit higher. Okay, because normally everyone don't play with eight inch toms. Um, if it's some. When my first time playing it, it wasn't that comfortable, okay? So I had to get used to it. I love it now. Um, so after I'm done with the rat toms, I go and I put up my floor toms. So this is the 14 inch. Of course, everyone knows 12, 14, or 12, 16, or however y'all you guys are playing it. Um, this is for like me having seven piece or five piece, okay? So, um, you know it goes about right there. Make sure the, 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 the height that you want it to be. Then, anytime you have a secondary floor tom, always push it out a little bit further than you would have the first one. Only because when you pull this in, all right, and you come in like this, your arm is going to be all in. You know what I'm saying? It's going to, it's going to be uncomfortable, all right? So, <laughs> I try to keep it about right there. Um, so, after that, I, I, I put my snare up. Don't mind the snare hit. I've been on here for a while. Um, so, I put the snare on last. I'm going to tell you why. Because if I put the snare on before I put these two on, I'm going to move this anyway because I because I don't know how far or where exactly I need to be putting the snare. Okay, so for me, I always put these two on first, or if I'm just doing a five piece, put the, I put these on first. Okay, make sure your your rat tones are not touching each other. These are a little bit. Uh, see, yeah, okay. All right, okay, better. All right, so, got that, got that, got that. Uh, make sure none of your drums are touching each other. Um, you got your bass drum pedal set up, bass drum. Um, another thing, um, when you set up your drums, um, you should probably want to start with your drum throne and never put your drum throne directly in front of the bass drum, okay? One, if you do, this, the bass drum gonna become a snare. All right, <laughs> you don't want that. So, your right foot, right here. Snare always in the middle, between your left and your right, right legs. You got your high hip, high hip pedal, high hip stand. Um, and you don't want your feet like ducked out, anything. So you wanna try to make sure you're comfortable as much as possible, okay. All right, let me, let's go to the symbols right here. I have my hi hats, and my hi hats is you as you can see is higher than these two because I don't want it, I don't want the hi hat to be in a way 
uh, me when I'm trying to hit these two two drums. All right. So this is actually comfortable for me anyway. I'm six feet, so that's perfect. Um, let's go to the first crash. Um, normally, um, I have symbol right here, maybe a symbol right there somewhere. Um, and normally I have my stack like right, right above the 12. <laughs> but for this, because I, if you've seen my videos, I do use drum mics on them. And of course you don't want to be, you know, get any symbols in the way or anything in the way. So then I have my ride. So I don't seen a thousand different setups with the ride. Um, me personally, I always put my ride not right over the 12, but it's, you see that? You see that? When you do an MDW style, your, your, <laughs> your drum head need to have, have that, you know what I'm saying, have that shape right there. Uh, for me, only because when I'm going for the ride, I like to be up here. I don't see people put the ride right here, all the way down. I can't, I can't get with that, all right? So, um, I got the ride right here. I got the other crash right here. Um, let me bring this over, just a, just a little bit. Um, yeah, so, as long as this symbol is not hitting this, uh, this ride or anything else, it's fine. So, I, I like to put it a little bit over the ride, which is okay. Um, actually, I might lower the rack just a tad bit. Um, then I have the stack. Well, with this stack, let me let me see. About right there. You know, I don't hit it every time. It's something something that makes it actually nice and trashy sound, man. When you're coming off one of the floor tones or coming off the field. So, yeah, that's it. Um, that's my setup, um, you know. So, any questions, let me know. Any questions, let me know, guys. Again, this is your boy Trail. See you next video. Peace.